Oh just... my, are you Danielle from Cutting the Caboose? Yeah. Hello, gorgeous. How are you doing? It's the big day. It is the big day. We're off to Thailand. Welcome to Thailand. Everything is ready. We're at the hotel. I did nice. How are you? How are you? Good. Fucking tall. My power banks are charged. I am at Heathrow. We have we are through security. We're at the um, departures area for Turbulent 2. My camera is packed in the camera bag. So we're in the room. Let's have a little tour. Shall we? I don't know what's here. And Nick is on his way back up. But Nick is here. Nick, the man himself. Security was horrendous, by the way. The tour was like an hour. And this is on the elevated security. Something went wrong with the, the scanning machines. And so everything just came to a grinding halt, which was uh, frankly rubbish. This is where I'm staying, and I like it. Although not all the time, because I'm going to be in the hospital as well. But it is nice, very nice. Updated. So I do a little bit of retail. That's Nate, our taxi which awaits us. We're going out for adventures. It's so exciting. Oh, that's a bit dark. I'm not gonna lie, it's not all I used to wear for a while. The problem is the mare. Well, to be fair, it's not the mare's fault. The product is lovely. Hey, hey, hey. We are going to uh, Siam Paragon, is the is how we say it, but Siam Paragon is how they say it. If you just don't sell it close to my house, so I could only buy it in duty free when I was flying, and then if I ran out, I would use something else. So apparently the, the, the language here works on tone rather than phrase. Yes. Yeah, so like, um, for example, cow, right? Moo cow. Yeah, so like like for us, we would say it like that, and like that would be pretty much it, right? But we could say it loads of different ways, cow, 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 and you probably still- And you would still get that yeah. it was a cow, yeah. right? Tilly the cat is, Tilly, stop scratching the wall. <laughs> Bad Tilly. Here, that's their word for rice. Yeah. That's their word for the number nine. That's their word for, um, I think there's like nine different words. See, come to Thailand, get a new fanny, and learn loads of magic things about language. Look at this. It's a shopping mall. It's so cool. It's got like waterfalls and I don't know what's inside. Apparently it's amazing. It's such a cool place. And Nick is on the camera. <laughs> I personally don't think the um, Terminal 2 is as nice as the Transatlantic Terminal. Um, I quite like the little the little makeup corridor. Uh, I really like the, the, the Virgin Lounge, which you don't have this side, sadly. I don't, I'm not sure if they do actually have a Mac counter on this side, but I'm going to go over and see. Tickets in here. Hey, so now that this is a bit of a surprise, we're at Starbucks at the world's best shopping mall. Oh my god, are you Danielle from Cunning Caboose? Yes, see, this oh is... Oh my, are you Danielle from Cunning Caboose? Yeah. Oh my god, hi, I'm Nick. I don't know. How's it going? Very good. Good, yeah, watch your stuff. It's, I love your videos. It's happening all the time. It's crazy, Wow, it's right? crazy. I can't even believe that you're right here right now. This is incredible. We've got a Kiehl's here, and there's a Kimmich, McLaren's, and there's a YSL. YSL is nice. And of course, Chanel, everyone's favorite. I think we should go and see Chanel, because we're frankly rude not to. Because we love Chanel. Even, even more crazy, look who's holding the camera. Oh my god, Juan! Oh, <laughs> Juan. oh my Chan, god, this is awesome, Chan. I can't even believe nice this. Hey, I'm Nick, nice to meet Can you. I have this your is crazy. <laughs> Can I have yours? This is no, insane. This, this. Toiletries are packed. Ah, <sighs> Chanel. We love Chanel. Daniel as well. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> wow, what in a million. Oh, nice. What are the chances? Are the chances? Everything is ready. So we're heading over to the Le Maire counter because Le Maire. But it's so... Uh, so if you don't know, Juan is... He edits all the shows that you've seen. I look not aware, but the way people behave, there's all these testers. And the testers are, are great, okay? 
there's some, there's some nice and they're quite expensive product. And people are just putting their hands in and grabbing out big gloops of product. Like really, it's like 50 quid of La Mer. You, you, you monster. Come and see the La Mer. Just doing, just doing a one case trip because I'm going to be spending most of the time in the hotel or in hospital. And Nick is like the how to do YouTube like a boss because Nick does it like a boss and then he shows us how to do it like a boss because he is the boss of the Nibinati. So. Hey, so we are at the gate. Well, I'm at the gate. Um, I guess you are too if you're watching. And anytime now, the flight's on time, which is good. Yeah, next stop, Thailand. Hooray. How's Bangkok so far? It's your first time, right? Yeah, my first time in Bangkok. I love it. I love best shopping mall ever. It's absolutely amazing. It's very loud here, but it's amazing. And most of the video, I'm probably going to be, if I'm honest, I'm going to do on my phone. Not going to lie, it's been a bit of a, bit of a, bit of a, an ordeal in the airport. <laughs> Not as smooth as usual. There we are. Um, but I'm taking a gimbal so it'll be nice and steady. So Daniel is giving up already. Now I need you help to push Daniel to finish the video and I'm not going to sleep now. <laughs> what? She's not going to sleep, right? But I'm tired. <laughs> I'm ready to video blog. I'm gonna do a little update. I'm gonna be doing live. So I'm landed. We're heading to security and immigration and bags and the transfer. I don't know what security is gonna be like. Hopefully fast. Although you discover right at the end of the flight that you're gonna need um, like an immigration form. Let's see how that works out. What are we doing? So right now we are leaving Siam Paragon and we are heading to the shady side of town so that we can check out some uh, what are the sidewalk of, markets what are the and things like that. Tiny motorbike? <laughs> yeah. Chances are you'll have seen the live stuff before this even goes out. Okay, so we are out of the airport and the uh, lovely people from the hospital sent a card up in there. And there's a, somebody with a sign with my name on it. It's such a long time to have somebody with a sign at an airport waiting for me. I'm filming one, filming me. Tuk tuk. Put put tuk tuk. Tuk tuk. Like, yeah, any of it works. But there we are. That's that's the plan anyway. So. So first night I'm in the hotel, and tomorrow I'll be in the hospital for um, medical tests, evaluations, and what have you. So this is fun. It's also possibly terrifying because I'm gonna help it on a seatbelt or he might die. Yeah. Now this is this is fun until you end up parked next to a bus that's blowing like black exhaust on you. <laughs> <laughs> then it becomes not fun really fast. I'm not sure if this is going to be a single video or a series of videos yet, that'll be down to the edit. But the flight was amazing, the flight crew were amazing, I slept through pretty much all of it. One thing I have to say, um, it's, it's, it's us, the Westerners, we're so rude. The, all the sort of Asian people and the Thai people are so polite and nice and friendly and smiling. And then all us sort of Europeans are all being grumpy and barging around. It's so like, oh, it's so awkward. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm breaking it. There we go, said it. How is this legal? <laughs> I'm ready to pull out at this point. I'm thinking I'm not gonna go. It's bonkers, hey! We're competing with buses and lorries and... I'm gonna go, but I feel like not going. I'm very sure a modest sized pedestrian would break us. <laughs> my friends are being cool and amazing. I'm being encouraging, but I'm really scared. This is what happens when you, when you ride a thing with, with, no, with wind. And this is what happens when you ride them a lot. <laughs> wind has happened to my hair. Oh my god, I look like crystal tips. Why didn't I tie this up first? I even got a bobble on my arm. The red light restrict is crazy. It's like all on display. From from the street, it's right there. It's not even, I haven't even got to go in. <laughs> What's right there? Everything. Like what? Like movies. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. It's crazy. It's the most scared I've ever been. Yeah, I'm not flying for a few hours, but it's a night and overnight flight from Heathrow. We've got little beds. It's the upper class time, which is really nice. Um, see you in a bit. And some of the girls are stunning. Yeah, some of the beautiful. transgender girls, yeah. You can tell just, but like, only because it's in that sort of area. There, um, I mean, we're talking about young transitioners here. It's wild. It's a little bit sad to see that they have to work, you know, in a certain industry for a living, but wow, what an eye opener. 
That's the end of part one. And um, this is a really ropey little drop-in piece that I've recorded after I've got home because honestly, um, the kind of the recording all went a little bit to hell uh, right after this because surgery happened and that's coming up in the very next bit. Stay tuned. So thanks so much for watching part one. The first day in Thailand was crazy. The journey was amazing. If you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that alarm bell. Thank you so much. Leave your comments below. And in the very next one, which is coming up uh, right, right behind this one, will be what happens during surgery. And oh boy, were some surprises. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the very next show. Bye. Mm.